Lake Worlds is up next. Incineroar, Whimsicott, Rillaboom, Comfy. Uh, Tyranitar and Lapras. Where's that weakness policy? Probably on the Lapras, I would imagine. Um, yeah, it's more centric Lapras team. So maybe Sash Tito here, I would say. Um, speed control from the Wimmy. So the Trick Room really going to benefit us a lot. Uh, we kind of have to be careful with Primarina if we are bringing it, of course, because of the Rillaboom. My opponent's side, so it might be worth us bringing something like Togekiss here. Um, and then our own Rillaboom, would that be, would that work? Our own Rillaboom, I mean, hmm. It leaves us a little short against, I mean, Terrakion is incredible here for like a late game, um, but we definitely need protection against uh, the opposing Rillaboom. And maybe Togekiss is the Pokemon to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna lock in with these four and we'll go from there. And Beb, I'm currently updating my in-game character to a glasses and both sword and shield. Nice dude, you've got to do, you've got to make sure that it looks exactly like you dude. And new clothing items are pretty dope. I've not actually looked at those because you get like a little pass card when you uh, get the Isle of Armor update. So there's like a bunch more clothing that you can actually put your character in. As you can tell, my character is still in his, uh, his dojo outfit because I'm really bad at getting around to doing those sort of things. But um, I, will, I will check that out for sure. Tune it. I've been bit by a hornet before and it was sore for like five days. It's right behind my ear. Dude, that sounds awful. Man, that actually sounds super brutal. Yeah, that, I'm not gonna lie, that <laughs> that sounds awful. Hornets are horrible as well. Like, I kind of had an inkling it was a wasp, but it never, like, it never swelled up like a wasp thing. So, I don't know if it was or not. Uh, I mean, we can get the trick room up pretty easily here. We can fake out. I mean, it's just about what they kind of bring in to combat a trick room maybe their own incineral um and i'd imagine the lapper is probably going to outspeed they'll go for the aurora veil here and um, they're probably going to help in hand though that's the big issue but i need to s mm, 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 i don't know i don't know probably better off snarling to be honest really the more i think about it the last gun pat how are you doing Step your style up. I know, I know, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see the protect there. So yeah, more more reason to go for that snarl. Um, and because we're setting the trick room up, I shouldn't really be worried about them tailwinding here. So the guys are coming out, which isn't great. Uh, but in scenario with the assault vest does manage to actually take that. Now the issue is gonna be here is how fast is this Lapras? You would imagine because it's a tailwind Lapras, it's gonna be pretty speedy. So. Our Incinero should still underspeed it. Um, it's a shame we haven't got the parting shot, but we do have access to um, U-turn. So we can go for that U-turn out onto the Wimmy, get Incinero out of harm's way, and just go for an Ice Beam into the Wimmy as well, double up there. Uh, we may see a Help in Hand from the Whimsicott come out this turn, but I think if you had Help in Hand, you'd go for it the previous turn. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. That's not so great, but let's see. P2 can tank some stuff here. Minus two defense in the rain. I don't know if we're going to be able to take it. If you're cheating there, I was I'm so mad minding my own business. That's how they get you, man. That's how these horrible little bugs get you, dude. Okay, so what are we going to bring in? Hmm. Not really got the trick room mons here, have we? <laughs> um, okay, I think we'll bring in Togekiss. Because I think Terrakion's way more important for us than anything else. Hopefully. Does not backfire. Have I actually not put Pretzel... I haven't even put the music on for the stream tonight. So sorry, guys. Okay, there's the Aurora Veil. Um, Comfy coming in, so it's going to proc the weakness policy for sure. Wow, P2 hanging on just by the skin of its teeth. Um, what did P2 get a boost in special attack? It's kind of important that we keep P2 around, to be honest. 
and I think what we'll do is hmm actually we could reverse the trick room here or we could just recover I think reversing the trick room and we will just protect we're gonna take uh, plus two or oh, probably I think they leave the p2 alone honestly they may attack it with the comfy and oh, they do okay I mean that's still it's not the end of the world this is becoming more and more like a car crash as we go on but at least they haven't broke their weakness policy yet Only option is incineral. Hmm. Okay, so they've, they've not got their max anymore. The rain is up. So we can fake out the Lapras, which is a, uh, is going to help us. But we're going to need Kiss to actually put in some work here, I think. I don't think the draining Kiss will get incineral. Okay, so we get the fake out. It's good to stop that thing. Draining kiss. Like I guess say we're, we're solved best, so this shouldn't do. Yeah, that's not doing anything. We need crits. We need crits. Come on, kiss. This is why you're in the team. There's one. Um. Now, do we snarl? Or do we U-turn? I think we snarl. And then I think we're going to have to manage with Togekiss Terrakian. Um, which I think we can probably do. Okay. So there's a helping hand come out. Hopefully it's into Togekiss. I think it is. It will be. I don't think you help in hand into Incineroar at this point. the rain stops so that's good for us for the thunder um and they, they're now relying on blizzard um to do all of their work so we could potentially max airstream comfy and then go for another snarl and that kind of nullifies the weakness policy if they do proc it and then incineral should get the jump onto lapras here so this is a way for us to do it so comfy if they go for the weakness policy boost now um they are gonna proc the plus two which will put them in the plus one this now put them back down to normal they have to go for blizzard i think um but we should get the snarl off before the lapras actually attacks so tooth phantom how are you doing i hope you're well mate and predator bought and um, the team should be on screen in the pecolytics um kind of add-on extension so hopefully that's working for you if you want to see the team that we're playing tonight Okay, so they do go for the weakness policy. They should take that. Wow, okay, that Aurora Veil. We desperately, desperately needed a crit there. Like, um, that's really... Okay, the one time that we need it, and we don't get it. But we do get the Snarl. So that takes the Lapras back down to... How did they go for Floral Healing there? Huh. So they're Hydro Pumping. Okay, this means that we get Terrakian onto the field. Which is ideal. Okay. Okay, it all comes down to Terrakin. The Aurora Veil does wear off now, so that's perfect. Now we can... Because I think a close combat will get Lapras. Uh, an Airstream... Another Airstream is going to get the Comfy. And depending on what my opponent has in the back, we may be able to kind of close this one out very, very... I mean, we could Rock Slide as well. But I think they drain and kiss. <sighs> That's the thing, like, we could just airstream and rock slide. Probably better off going for the close combat, I think. Yeah, with heart, I, I think we get the Lapras of the close combat. Okay, they're withdrawn Lapras. Want to keep it for later on. Rillaboom coming in. Okay. Oh, 
off. He just doubled there. Uh, Picolytics extension. So Picolytics actually created a Twitch extension for us. So it should be on the screen for you guys to kind of click around and see some Pokemon. Stuff like that. Right now. Hopefully it's there. Um, I mean our big job here is to get rid of the Rillaboom. I think if we can get rid of the Rillaboom, um, our life becomes a lot easier. Um, and to be honest with the grassy terrain, it's not the worst thing in the world. Because it might give us a slash back with Trachea, potentially. We get the close combat, which is really nice damage, really nice damage there. Roger M11, thank you so much for the follow, for joining us tonight. Oh, it's going to be close. I don't think we are going to be able to. But we can airstream into the Rillaboom the next turn. Um, what comes in for my opponent? Lapras. Okay. Okay. We have to protect Teraki and we can't risk the Grassy Glide here. Um, and we just have to airstream into Rillaboom. Like, if you... if you, Oh, no. This, my opponent can't switch out. I was going to say, if you're smart, you switch out the Rillaboom. But this is literally my opponent's last two Pokemon. So, I think we're going to be fine. As bad and bleak as it looked at one point, I think we might be able to eke this one out. So, the Trick Room kind of worked overall in the end. Oh yeah, that's very true guys, because the um, the the extension doesn't work on mobile apps just yet. So I think it's something that they're probably working on. Um, but right now, uh, you have to be on a PC to use the extension, which is a little bit annoying. But if you stick around until the end, I will get a poker pissed for you guys uh, of this team. Uh, so you can use straight away on showdown or whatever you want, or take just the sets and things like that. And... Um, There'll be a rental code for this team as well at the end of the stream, so hopefully stick around for that. So there's a blizzard. It's gonna hit. No! We dodge it like a ninja. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be fine now. We just dazzle close combat. That's the gonna deal with the Lapras pretty handily. So um Yeah, we're all right, tracking, came in, clutch at the end. Bebum, you're the best. You're the best, you're the best. As always. Um so yeah. And that is a good game to Waffles. Please, we've managed to overcome that. Lapras isn't the easiest matchup for this team, but um, when is Lapras super easy at the best of times with Comfy anyway? So, yeah, good game to my opponent and nice win for us to uh, kick off on this streak tonight. It's not Waffles. Waffles was the last person, wasn't it? It's Blake World. Sorry, Blake Worlds. We've got Waffles on the brain. We got Rillaboom, we got Incineroar, Chansey. Chansey to end on? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Come on. Dracozolt, uh, Indeedee, and Snorlax. This just looks horrible. Like, literally horrible. But we do have Terrakian that does well against Snorlax, Chansey. Um, and Terrakian. So we just need to deal with the Rillaboom, Dracozolt, the Indeedee. Um, okay. Go in C. Let's go toe kiss. They got a trick room, okay? So that's I think we got this and this and we bench Primarina P2. P2's been so good for us all evening, but I am gonna bench it now. I think we just need power here. Draco Gold, yeah. He's there. Oh, look at that, guys. Trainer card. That is magnificent. That is probably one of the best trainer cards I've seen. The rainbows. In, uh, what is that? Like Honeycomb Island in the background? Oh, you say that, Johnny. I think I think it might be. Okay. So, we've got Indeedy and Asnolex at first. They're going to try and get the belly drum up, for sure. They're going to definitely try and do this. This belly drum stuff. Um, and I am going to fake out the Snorlax. And I am going to switch into Rillaboom here. So we can actually fake it out and stop the belly drum shenanigans. At least for one turn. Um, and then what we need to do is prioritize taking down that Indeedee. The next turn. And maybe try and get tracking onto the field. 
once indeed he's gone and used Terrakian to its its full potential to get rid of everything horrible like Snorlax and Chansey. Okay, so we overwrite this Psychic Crane, which is helpful. Um, I don't think the Snorlax Max is here. Oh, it does. Okay, I mean, okay, I'll take that because. Minus one, it's not gonna belly drum. I don't have a clue what it's gonna be doing. Probably max quake, you know, something I don't know. I'm gonna say help in hand, potentially from Ndidi. Big help. I'll just protect just the protect there. Just being super safe. What we're we gonna see this lax do. After it gets faked out and just brushes us off, steel spikes. Ha. Huh. Okay. That's the uh, I mean It definitely could be worse. Okay. What we do, what we do, what we do, what we do is we switch Incineroar out now into... Hmm. Could be an object. No, I don't want to bring Terrakian in front of there. Um, we go for U-turn into Ndidi. And then we bring Incineroar back onto the field. Cycle at Intimidate and we just keep trying to do this. Repugnant Man, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us, dude. It's a big cup, Johnny. It's the biggest cup in the world. It's like a bucket, really. But thanks for the hydrate, mate. I'm getting a little worried about these um, these these stream points. I saw someone mention karaoke earlier. So... The more the streams go on where people aren't cashing these in, I appreciate the uh, the odd one where it's we're, we're getting the, the hydrate ones, but we're not seeing any big, big ones cashed in, um, which is worrying because there's some like big ones at the top there that could be slightly embarrassing for sure. Tyler, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well, my friend. Uh, we're going to see the expanding force from the Indeedy into Incineroar, not really doing too much, and then another Steel Spike, boosting that defense on the Snorlax, which does make it a lot more difficult to take down for sure. Um, so as long as we're kind of keeping, what we need to try and do is get rid of this Ndidi, uh, that's the that's the big thing, yeah. Um, it might be worth just dazzling here, uh, it's going to protect though, it's going to protect for sure. I think we get rid of Boomin and we'll go for it. We'll go for a U turn out onto the Snorlax. It's not like Snorlax is going to protect. Okay, Muffy's only got 2k. Johnny's got 34,000. Wow, okay, that's scary. I need to up like the price of everything. <laughs> Johnny's going to totally stitch me up. And Sean, I would like to see a team with Orangaroo with Symbolus. Yeah, there's some cool stuff you can do there, for sure. Okay, so I'm going to see another Steel Spike be into... Yeah, really boom this time. Um, okay, and that's the last of their max turns. The worry now is um, that they... They can belly drum now, and they've got the defenses to kind of help them out a bunch, um, which is not ideal. And that Ndidi is in no position to. Well, I mean, we can take the Ndidi down. We can definitely take the Ndidi down. We can definitely knock off the Snorlax. I think that's probably a good idea. And then if the Indeedy does pull it away, then that's fine. Then we can just dazzle. Okay, helping hand. And what are you going for? Helping hand, you've got no attack. You're going for a heavy slam? Potentially. Ah, it's assault best. Okay, that makes sense. Oh dear. That's why I got those defense boosts. And with the assault vest, yeah. 
<laughs> helping hand belly drum <laughs> just to get even more money puts you on uh, plus 12 plus 12 attack when you help in hand boost and um, belly drum if you didn't know that already um okay i think we have to oh man we've got like all 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 the um mm, 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 mm. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. We've got all the fighting weak Pokemon. I think Incineroar will go down to Body Press as well. Um, I don't think enough. Like we need to get rid of the Ndidi. Like, like pronto. I think I'm gonna make a rash decision and go for a Starfall and a knockoff into the Ndidi to try and remove it from the field, and then hope that we can crit this Snorlax and get rid of it that way. That feels like the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, it's gone helmet hand again. Hopefully it goes after the Rillaboom. The Rillaboom's gone after this, which is which is fine, as long as we get rid of this indeed, which I'm, I'm thinking we, we probably will. Although I don't know if we will actually. How we should get it, even though it's, it's already propped its item. Oh my god, oh my god, we don't even get it. It's bad. Okay. I think I've got to bring in Terrakian. Rock slide. Rock slide and and uh, airstream. <laughs> this Snorlax is obnoxious, horrible Snorlax. Uh, yeah, we rock slide, we airstream Snorlax. Hope for a crit, hope for a flinch, hope for all that good stuff, and um, then everything will be fine. There's the follow me, so that's all all, all right. Terrakian, you see your rock slides. Good dog, good doggo. Okay, now we need to flinch this Snorlax. We need to crit it. We're not asking for much. Come on, Togekiss. That's a crit, I think. I think that's a crit. Is that a crit? It wasn't a crit. It doesn't even flinch. <laughs> we get neither. <laughs> okay, not ideal. Uh, not the end of the world. Oh my god. I hear this Snorlax so much right now. <laughs> and then Chansey comes in. What can we what can we do? We can't do anything. Um I we We have to chase this Snorlax down. I don't know if we can beat the, the Chansey though, if we don't have Terrakian. Do we take this opportunity to, to just go if we crit Snorlax, okay? If we crit Snorlax, we'll be fine. We just need to crit the Snorlax, and then we can get the close combat into Chansey. I think I can't afford not to close combat Chansey. <laughs> Please track in crit. Oh, it's so close as well. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate Ally Switch. Oh man, look at that. That is pathetic. <laughs> now we lose Terrakian, and I think we lose all hope. Okay, well we've got Ensign. Hope is not lost. With Ensign, we can we can do anything with the cat. Ah, oh. they still got one Pokemon left after this. Well, we can dazzle and we can fake out for sure. I mean, that's definitely like a play. It's the only play. Definitely depends on what their last Pokemon is.
That was a crit on Chansey. <laughs> did you see how much damage that did? Oh my god. Boom, okay. I mean, could be worse. Chansey is probably... Um, Flebit, boom. Air slash Chansey. I don't think we'll have a problem taking Boom down. I think we'll have issues with Chansey though. Okay, Grassy Glide. We need to flinch the Chansey, that's the thing. We're not critting it, so like... Okay, the Fleb, let's get rid of the... the uh... Okay. That's a crit. Okay, we can't complain. We can't complain. If we flinch, that is amazing. Flinch the Chansey. Get him on. Okay. If we could, if we keep flinching it, it's gonna. We're gonna be able to do this. This game looks like it's frozen now. What's going on? Like literally. I'm not doing. Dude, get the salt out. <laughs> that's a that's a rubbish way to end the stream. It's a rubbish way to end the stream. Let's have one more. <laughs> get the salt out. Come on, why quit at that point? I mean, you're playing Chansey with Ally Switch. You, you, you're not allowed to be salty about anything. There is no, no salt allowed there. <laughs> okay, we got Aaron up next. 1918, Aaron playing a team of Venusaur, Rillaboom, Tokol, Rhyperia, Dusclops, and the Urshifu. Pretty solid team. Uh, you got the very solid Sun Call with the Rhyperia again and the Urshifu. Um, so, we played this earlier on, this team. But... I don't know how we did. I think we did alright. We've got to manage the sun, haven't we? Uh, okay, so. Mm. We definitely want to lead Incineroar just to kind of stop the Venusaur. Ah, that's what we did earlier. We maxed the Incineroar. We're not going to do that again. I mean, we may do that again, but um, I think we'll go with Holy Kiss as well. Kind of want to bring Primarina. Primarina has a really tough time against uh, Venus or Arillaboom, but oh, actually, do we just bring P2? P2 definitely for sure. And then maybe Rillaboom, but Rillaboom again has a really tough time. But against like Rhyperia, it's not bad. Neoshifu is probably mm, I don't know. Okay, let's go boom. Actually, yeah, let's go really, 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 really boom. Yeah, let's go really boom. Okay, good luck, Aaron. Have fun. And this is going to be the last one, friends, of the night. But it has been a pleasure as always. Hopefully, we can end on a win. I didn't want to end on that chancy game. Don't want to end on a rage quit. Okay, we're seeing Rhyperia and Dusclops come up for my opponent. Which makes it very, very tricky. Because, um, I mean, yeah, we, this is pretty awful for us. This is like definitely the, the one lead where we're like, I uh, didn't really consider that, them leading that. Okay. Definitely you turn out in the Dusclops and we'll switch to P2. Like we can mitigate the, the weakness policy boost that they're gonna definitely try and get. Um, and we should get a special 
attack boost which is ideal for us because p2 is not going to be too bad against the Rhyperia in all honesty um, solid rock doesn't help for sure <laughs> it's honestly a legendary way to end the stream but I'll take one extra cool we'll take we'll do one extra um, and just as a I'm doing it more for you guys. I feel bad like ending like that on we can't end with such negativity and salt. Okay, so we just seen the rock slide come out from the right here, which is fine. Um We do have the grass glide, which is like definitely something they've gotta like be like worried about for sure. Um because we can grassy glide and actually just max and go. But are we gonna see Alad which I don't know if we are. I don't know if we'll see them even max here, you know. I feel like I pulled the trigger a little bit too early, but... I mean, what are they going to... Like... What can they bring in? It's, like, Torkoal could come in that slot, for sure. Right, Torkoal comes in. But we do get a max hailstorm up, so we overwrite the sun. Which is good for us, right? The only issue is if they ally switch. Which is that like that's really bad. And like what's Dusclops doing here? You gotta question that. So maybe they do ally switch. But then they don't get their weakness policy. Okay, well we're not doing anything with P2 because we've run out of time, but we'll see. Okay, they do ally switch, so we should have really called it. We should have called it. Just a little bit. Fire punch, okay. We minus one, they don't no they're not doing enough. We recover off all that big damage from before. Yeah, I was expecting the weakness policy proc, but again, like we're kind of one switch away from just resetting the weakness policy boost to be honest. Um And they're probably keeping their max for later on. I think they're gonna keep their max for um, let's just grassy glide and ice beam the right period again. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get it. Okay, fine, fine. I think they keep their max for the Venusaur. Uh, in all honesty, <laughs> they pulled us this turn. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Um, and we're, I wanna like Torko coming in now. I think they like they need to stall the trick room out of their own now, which you can maybe capitalize on a little bit. So Torko coming in, yeah. Hmm. I think we definitely switch to Incineroar here. Um, I'm like super tempted to honestly, like, honestly go Hailstorm into Dusclops, but I feel like it's kind of wasting it almost as well, a little bit. But. Maybe better doing it the next turn and recovering here. Um, okay, let's switch into Incineroar um, and then just recover off I think we'll just recover just eruption damage and then at least the next time we got fake out pressure onto that tall call Okay, with the trick room ending now, like this next turn, it feels like probably a good, maybe a good time to get your Venusaur onto the field. 
Um, I don't know whether even Max and P2 is going to be the right thing to do in this match anyway. In all honesty. Um, I think we definitely fake out Torko. Max Hailstorm. Yeah, because we've probably two shot Dusclops with this. Perfect. There we go. We got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are plus one. Yeah, we're going to take down the Venusaur here. Unless we see the Torko. Nah, the Torko's not maxing. Okay, there we go. Get that bread, boys. Get that bread. <laughs> Johnny, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight thinking about that. Are you talking about the Chansey still? The duck pulling through. Okay, this is probably the best performance of the duck tonight. We got the call right, so that's good. Okay, we get the hill, which is ideal. We take away the sun. Uh, yeah, we're in a, a fantastic position just to nuke on the dust clops the next turn. I, I'm going to just shout it, so there's going to be more ally switch shenanigans coming out. 100%. Rage quit incoming. <laughs> Get that salt ready. Maybe, maybe, maybe not though. Maybe not. Let's see. It's frustrating as well. Like, I may play this team again on Wednesday, even though I've said Magnuson. It's just I feel like we're getting a bit more of a flow with it now than we were a little bit earlier on. Although I still think there's probably parts of the team that we need to change because I think with Magnuson becoming a little bit more popular. It really gives this team a lot of issues. Um, okay, let us go for a Flibblitz and a... Uh, should we just max Lightning into the Dusclops? In case we see a cheeky yawn come out from that Torko. And there's the game. Okay, so... I think we'll go with uh, Magnazon on Wednesday. I think it seems like a good thing to play at the minute. Check. And there you go, friends. There is a rental team. Thanks for coming out, guys. I'm going to throw it over to James now. Have a great rest of the evening. Hopefully see you all 8 p.m. Wednesday. And, yeah, just take care of yourselves. We can each other, and I'll see you all for the next one. Enjoy the team if you try it out as well. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Thanks so much for coming, guys. See you later. Jump over. Let's raid James and, like, see how many we can get in. Come on. Come on. Come on.